Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how I get this leopard print eye makeup look, which is gonna be perfect for Halloween and is something a bit more glam. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and let's get straight to it. So the first thing that I'm going in with is this brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a really great eyebrow product and it is an absolute staple in my collection. I wanted to keep most of the focus on the eyes so I'm just going to do my makeup as usual and do my brows as usual, maybe go a little bit thicker than what I usually would do but I tend to just underline my brows and then spread the rest of the product throughout the tail end and then also the front as well. So the next stage is really important to get that really clean base and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Erase Me Concealer for this. This is really perfect to cancel out any redness, any undertones that you don't want poking through the shadow. For my eyeshadow, I am going to start off with some Sellotape and then go into this Wet and Wild palette and I'm going to take this top transition shade which is a really lovely warm burnt orange shade and I'm going to place this mainly in the crease but also over the base of my eyelid as well. Next you'll want to add some depth to your look so I'm going to take the opposite transition shade which is a really nice warm tone dark brown and I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer third of my eye and then just drag any remaining product towards the middle. I'm then going to take this super beautiful sort of chocolatey brown shade and place this over the top. The reason that I put that initial transition shade down was because it's slightly on the sort of orange tone which makes everything else look luminescent. Now this was an absolute godsend, this is the NYX Black Matte Liner and this was so perfect for this look because it's a bit more of a, dare I say, a technical look in terms of having to really focus on where you're placing the leopard print um, spots. So this was absolutely perfect because of the fine tip, because it dries really quickly. And again, this is another staple in my collection that you can get from Look Fantastic. Whilst I'm sure the spots are not perfect, um, I did find that this was a super easy product to work with. And what I'm doing is just placing two sort of crescent moon shapes that sort of are polar opposite to each other. I'm going to take this gold shade from the same palette and this works really well to lift the look and just to add a bit more texture. So I'm placing the gold sort of shadow in between some of the spots and then some I'll leave a little bit blank but again this just gives a lot of lift, it makes the look come alive and of course it adds some shimmer which we all want especially if we're doing a bit more of a glam Halloween makeup look. So next I am going to go in with this Heavy Metals liner from Urban Decay. I believe this is in Space Cowboy and what I'm doing is sporadically placing this onto some of the spots again just to add a bit of lift to the look to make it look a bit more dimensional um, and of course we all love glitter. I love this look simply because it is so multi-purpose, uh, simply because you can switch up all of the different shades. So here I'm going to go in with some white just again to add further lift, to add a sort of brightened look to it. Um, but if you wanted to use a more colourful palette and to turn this into a super colourful um, sort of leopard print look, then that is absolutely an option. I'm then taking the same liquid liner and again I've kept the tape on because it helps to make my eyeliner a bit more precise. It did slip slightly so please do be aware of that but again it just goes to show how really sharp and precise that liner is. So I've gone in with one of the best mascaras on the market, it is from Ico and then I'm also going in with this Black Trek liner from MAC just to line my waterline and then I'm going to go in and apply some of the shades from the eyeshadow palette. I don't want to do too much here because I still have the rest of my face makeup to do um, but it's enough for me to sort of feel confident enough to move on from the look. Then once I've completed my under eyes, I'm then going to go back into the mascara and just add a coat of mascara to my lower lashes. Then I'm going to go in and complete the rest of my face makeup. I'm starting with the Born This Way foundation in the shade of Nude. This is such a lovely, hydrating, really 
glowy looking foundation this is absolutely one of my new favorites this is available on look fantastic and so is many of the other Too Faced range so I'm absolutely going to go back and pick up what else I can um, but yeah this is perfect for this look just because it's not too um, for coverage and it really keeps the focus on the eyes. I'm then going to go into the Maybelline concealer and I'm applying this underneath my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, chin, sides of my chin and then also on the sides of my face as well and I'm just patting this in. For my powder, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is so, so good. It really does what it says on the tin. It mattifies you all day and it gets rid of those crease lines that can tend to gather, especially if you spent so long sort of buffing in your face products. Next, I'm going to go into the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer, which is incredible. If you don't have this, why do you not have this? It is so natural and one of the if not the best bronzers that I have tried and I love the fact that it's liquid because you can sort of move the product around. Then I'm going into the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow palette. I'm taking the blush shade which is like a beautiful rosy rose gold shade and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks just to get like a really healthy glow. And then I go into the other side which is the highlight and initially I put on way too much than what was needed. It looks like my face has been drenched um, in water. In person, this just looked so, so beautiful. It's more of a chunky highlighter, but having said that, it's not the chunky that you'd expect because it makes your skin look so dewy and glowy. Then I'm going in and lining my lips. I don't know why this looks pink because it is not pink, uh, but I am taking um, this red shade from MAC. I completely forgot the name. I will put it down below and I'm cleaning that up just because it is a red lipstick and it helps if I conceal around uh, my lips just so it neatens everything up. So just to finish off this look, I'm going back into those original shades and applying this because um, my concealer would have gone on and I could have lost some of that colour on the bottom lower lash line um, and I'm here, I'm pretty much just topping that up. And very, very finally, I'm taking this Lottie London eye foil in the shade of Denied and placing this in my tear duct. And I feel like this just completes the whole look. It ties the whole glitter products together. And this is a super great way to showcase a Halloween makeup look whilst being glam at the same time. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.